This is just a very quick follow on from my previous video in which I demonstrated loading programs into the Mark 14 using an OP80 tape reader. In that video I indicated that the loader program in the Mark 14 had to be modified between each tape because the different programs required loading into different addresses within the Mark 14. Uh, that became a bit tedious and having to remember which address to use was uh, obviously always going to be a bit of an issue. So I've made a minor change to the loader program. So instead of explicitly loading the destination address at the beginning of the loader, as we did previously, what I've done is create tapes where the first byte of the tape is the destination address for the program, the first byte of the program. And that is then loaded from the tape and used to load the pointer that is used to save the data into the Mark 14 memory. And that means it's, it's completely automatic. You no longer have to worry about what particular address to load the program into. So this is a quick demonstration. I've got the moon landing game queued up. I've got the new loader programmed into the Mark 14. So I'll get the loader started up. Pull the tape through the reader. And we should now have the moon landing game ready to run. And as we can see, that's running fine. Reset, and then we'll try a different program. So again, these tapes are slightly different. They have the destination address for the first byte of the program as the first data byte on the tape. But other than that, the rest of the tape is identical. So again, we'll run the loader program, which is of course still resident in the same location in memory. Start that running the tape through the reader. And we should now have the new program loaded, albeit at a different address to the moon landing program. So we'll try running that. And as we can see, that's running fine as well. So as you can see, it makes the whole process much more streamlined. You don't have to mess about editing the loader in between each tape.